Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Toyota dealership where today I'm going to show you all the details of the new Yaris and this is actually the Croatian premiere because this car just arrived on our market and well yeah here it is in full glory and as you can see it's completely new so first of all we have a new platform GAB platform and that means 37% stiffness increase and also 20 kilos lighter so definitely in terms of driving so much better there will be a point of view drive i already did drive it and yeah it's really really improved then moving on uh, to the design of course you see it's a completely new thing and uh, nothing like the predecessor so you have the optimistic and more sporty look i would say so the car is 50 millimeters wider than the predecessor which gives it more presence on the road of course uh, what gives it presence is as well this massive front grille now this is the premier edition the special edition model which can be uh, bought only if you reserve it online here in croatia and there will be a link to that so that you see full specs of this car but as you can see it's fully packed so you have this interesting finish on the front grille you see this almost like some kind of carbon fiber very very nice indeed and then the badge of course has this blue elements since this is the hybrid and i'll talk about the engine uh, later on we also have some chrome elements here and then the lights uh, are in led technology with the well-known shape here and uh, yeah it will be easy to recognize this car uh, on the road during the night and they are actually an option so on the standard one of course you don't have leds but yeah if you pay extra you get this beautiful lights as well as the led fog lights so overall, I am a big fan of the new design. Tell me in the comments, how do you like it? Uh, if you are wondering about the color, it's called Fusion Tokyo Red. And this is actually the dual tone car. So this is also paint. You have the gloss black roof and they actually call it the night sky black. And I think this overall looks really nice. I mean, tell me in the comments, how do you like it? But this is just, you know, uh, a very optimistic look for uh, new Yaris. And moving on to the wheels, uh, they are 17 inch on this Premier Edition, dual tone finish, diamond cut. And uh, yeah, this all looks rather nice. Let's see the dimensions of the tires. Okay, so 205, 45 are 17. Speaking about dimensions of the car, this is where it gets interesting because this car is uh, five millimeters shorter than the predecessor. And why is that? Well, I was actually at the world premiere of this car in Amsterdam. I spoke to people from Toyota and they told me that their main customers are, of course, people who live in big cities and they want a practical car. And that means uh, below four meters length. And of course, this car is 3 meters 94. So yeah, that's, that's definitely going to fit in every parking space, you know, in major cities. And at the same time, actually, they increase the wheelbase by 50 millimeters. And that means you have more space inside. Let me show you this interesting design of the C pillar. And now you see this, uh, you know, you have the two paints next to each other. And I love this roof spoiler this all looks rather nice and you also get the tinted windows on this premiere edition which really has a lot of options and now coming to the back of the car this is uh, where it's really unique and you don't have you know other cars looking like this you can really say that it's a bold and unique design so look at the shape of this tail lamp going all the way here almost to the doors and then here you have like a j uh, letter or reversed C and uh, this is actually connected with this uh, gloss black part uh, here we have of course the hybrid version but I think this gloss black suits the car very well especially if you go for a bright color such as this one and uh, well yeah tell me in the comments how do you like it there's also a new bumper which you see here with the diffuser and fortunately there are no fake exhausts so you do have this real one here and that's really okay that's better than to have the fake ones which is you know kind of crazy trend on today's market so tell me in the comments what do you guys think about it and now let's check out the trunk 
and this is of course where you open it but before that let me show you the rear view camera which you have on the premiere edition and now let's open it you are greeted with 286 liters i have my jacket here let's move this to the side and uh, well yeah uh, it's decent amount of storage space you do have the light here as well as this hook i don't know if you can see it it's there of course you can fold the seats 60 40 and uh, i noticed also that you have the carpeting here <laughs> that's cool uh, so let's close this and yes this car will only be available with five doors as most customers you know go for the five doors and fun fact this is the best selling toyota in europe more than four million examples were sold and if some of you say well there is a three-door version actually there is but it's the gr yaris the sporty one with the new platform and everything is different on that model so you can't really compare it uh, to this one and before we move on to the interior let me just show you this strong design lines of the car i mean just look at this so going from the tail lamp all the way down there as well as this i mean just look at the attention to detail with this car so you have the design lines on the roof on a small city car that's really impressive and a thumb up from me and now let's check out the interior time to check out the interior now this is the new key i'm actually gonna lock the car you see the mirrors fold and now i just need to come here have the key in my pocket that's it the car opens and you're greeted with the whole new interior so complete you know change uh, compared to the previous one let's start with this door panels this is uh, one detail that i really love this sounds like a cloth material uh, it's actually very good and then you do have some gloss black elements and then this is the door handle very funky design uh, also ambient lights on door handle that's something that is new it's on this premiere edition here are your switches for the windows as well as the mirrors and lock unlock button is also located in here but just look at this cloth very very nice door pockets are actually pretty deep not that uh, you know big but deep so you can fit a large bottle in here and then since this is the hybrid you are greeted with the hybrid lettering on the door seal as well as the new seats that we have available uh, on this model so look at this almost like it's integrated this headrest it's not of course you can you know, move it up and down and then the new steering wheel three spoke one with the buttons so feels very nice in the hand overall materials are actually uh, really good inside so without further ado it's time to jump inside and see what it has to offer from inside and this all feels very nice in here uh, you do have great materials i do love this new three spoke steering wheel with uh, buttons for the main functions and then the whole you know design of this dashboard is kind of cool uh, definitely something new you do have some practicality in here so storage space then the digital cockpit which i'll show you in a moment uh, this is the main touch screen and uh, yeah well let's actually start it up by pressing the power button and uh, yeah now the car comes to life uh, i will put the ignition on later on so that we see the functions of the infotainment and the digital cockpit uh, but for now let's just have uh, the contact like this air vents are located down there underneath the screen you do have the hazard lights in here let's see the clicking sound okay uh, the switches for the ac and that is a big plus from me are on this uh, you know uh, button so that's definitely going to be easy to use you do have the heating of the seats on this model uh, so that's convenient and that's uh, you know something that you want especially on a day like this as you see uh, we do have a minus one degree you know outside usb a port and then the switch for the heated uh, seat of the passenger this is the place uh, for wireless charging so you can wirelessly charge your phone and then uh, also here we have the ambient lights so ambient lights down there and also on the door handles that is something new and something that is available on this premiere edition uh, you do have also the 12 volt power outlet not sure if you are actually able to see it 
but there is uh, one down there. This is the gear lever for the CVT transmission that is paired with this uh, model. This is the hybrid model. So you have the uh, classic reverse neutral drive, but you also have the B mode. Now the B mode is the mode for maximum recuperation of the battery. And I will actually demonstrate you that in the point of view drive, which is coming very soon. So definitely stay tuned. Um, I was actually surprised by this CVT. Usually I'm not a huge fan of those, but on this car it's really well done. And you will actually see it on my drive, really. Moving on, we do have the switches for the driving modes. You have the power, eco and normal mode, traction control off, and then the EV mode. In the EV mode, uh, you can drive only on electric power, but of course that is a bit limited. You can't drive it uh, all the time. This is not a plug-in hybrid. This is the classic hybrid. So, uh, but yeah, you can actually drive, you know, on the parking lots and on some lower speeds during the, uh, you know, a drive in the city. So if you go through the city, you can actually use it a lot. The auto hold and as well as the parking, electronic parking brake, electronic parking brake are here. Two cup holders. Then this is the armrest. You can do this and get some additional storage space and you can fully remove it. And then you get uh, more space here and you can put larger bottles maybe here. Uh, so yeah, let me also show you the glove box. So pretty standard, but that's okay. And now let's give it a contact. And now you see that this comes to life. So this is the digital cockpit. Uh, on our left, we have uh, various you know, things for the um, hybrid system, the battery and stuff like that. And then on our right, we do have the fuel gauge as well as the temperature. Uh, you have the speed on your right. And then in the middle, we do have uh, various switches. Actually, let's turn on uh, the car so that we see if I will be able to show you. Now we get it. So this is, you know, hybrid system information, EV mode. Also the drive modes are down there, power, eco, and normal one. Now we've turned on the car, we can actually put the EV mode, but now it's not available. When you put it, then you don't get, uh, you know, uh, the petrol power, you only get the electric power. You can also have uh, this, where you see the energy flow, but uh, since we are in the dealership, I'm gonna uh, turn off the car. But you get the point, you saw the, uh, you know, digital cockpit. On our right, uh, we have like a driving information and then on your left are, you know, battery status and stuff like that. So I will talk about the hybrid engine in a moment. Let me just go through the Toyota Touch to infotainment system, the new one. So this screen uh, on the Premier Edition is 8 inch and then on the lower trims 7 inch, I believe. And yeah, you have the home menu button, then you get the battery flow, stuff like that. If you press the menu, you have various options available, audio, phone, info, you can pair your phone with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Then you go to the audio and you have a bunch of options available and uh, navigation not available on your system but usually here you would get the map this is uh, to change the tracks phone setup and stuff like that so this is okay various options are available but uh, yeah i think the best option would be to use the apple carplay or android auto since uh, i mean this infotainment system is okay as i said but not the best one out there i would say and but i do love the you know simplicity of it so you have the volume knob button here and uh, yeah stuff like that so that's convenient to use you will get used to it uh, you know uh, easily and also i need to mention the 10 inch head up display which is a standard on this premier edition that's impressive really for you know small city car and now let's check out the space at the back this is the rear bench once again very nice materials here with this uh, cloth i love this detail and then this is hard plastic but not that hard not as i would expect you do have the almost like a cup holder there and uh, yeah this the space at the back now of course this is a very small city car but still you do get some space here as i said the wheelbase is increased by 50 millimeters so uh, yeah this is the situation now unfortunately we don't have led lights at the back but 
for my head it's okay and here for my legs definitely you know i would survive here uh, you can't expect much from a car that is below four meters but uh, for this kind of size uh, this is i, I think uh, very very good and yeah definitely they managed to you know do what they were supposed to do so they have the same length or even a few millimeters less than before but with the increased wheelbase we do have a bit more space here at the back and let me also show you some additional things and i will open the doors for that so you do have the door pocket here at the back but on this side you don't have it and uh yeah well that's about it unfortunately there is no armrest here uh, in the middle and then this is your view on the front and let's check out the engine you just press this switch and there it is uh, i'm gonna be back with you i just need to do one more thing and here it is the 1.5 liter hybrid engine producing 116 horsepower it's the new one more efficient more powerful also it is paired with the new battery which is lighter so overall really impressive i drove it uh, and yeah i can tell you that they really did a good job with this one it is paired uh, with a cvt transmission which is also surprisingly good uh, 9.7 seconds uh, is the time to reach 100 kilometers per hour and the car is very very efficient indeed uh, you can see the specs here so yeah as i said 116 horsepower let's also check out the co2 emissions which are here so you see the co2 emission is 73 grams uh, that means of course uh, lower taxes on you know co2 taxes which we have here in croatia and uh, well yeah you can also spot that it's a hybrid by uh, this blue parts as well as the hybrid lettering here of course this is not the only engine but have in mind that 60% um, of uh, Yaris models uh, were bought with the hybrid engine and also Toyota claims that they want 80% of buyers to go for this one so we'll see how that goes but definitely my recommendation uh, would be a hybrid because of the efficiency and uh, because it's really a good technology of course there are other options actually two options you have the 1.5 liter petrol engine with 125 horsepower that one comes with either uh, manual transmission or you can go for the cvt or you have a one liter that's the entry level one with 72 horsepower also petrol of course and well yeah that's it tell me in the comments uh, which spec and i mean which engine would you go for i also need to mention a bunch of safety systems that are available and many of them are actually standard on the new yaris and that makes it one of the safest if not the safest car in its class so actually i have the uh, screen here with the information about the equipment of this car and here you will see that we have the blind spot monitor emergency brake light signal uh, you also have the uh, blind spot monitor once again and then the automatic brakes in case of uh, you know danger so it will break for you and uh, yeah this is all part of the equipment of this car so really a lot of things are available in here uh, definitely you know impressive amount of equipment and then if we go to the main page you see that we have the hybrid with 116 horsepower cvt transmission uh, as i said um, this is the package premiere and this is the price for this car and you can also uh, get the price let me show you actually here so you also this is the price for the model that you see in the video and this is the base model Yaris 1.5 liter I believe this is the uh, hybrid with Luna package and then you have a lower price for that I will put the euro amounts uh, of course here and once again just look at this design lines on uh, the roof impressive impressive really and they actually go all the way down to the hood you see that the front hood also has this elements yeah I'm really impressed tell me in the comments guys what do you think about it of course subscribe to the channel there is a point of view drive and it's coming very very soon 
probably tomorrow if you are watching this you know the first day of upload and let me show you from this angle and now i will say goodbye to you and see you on the next one bye bye